Hello there, this is Out Motorsports. My name is Jake, and today we're gonna to talk about securing your trailer and your truck. If you've ever towed a trailer, especially a trailer with a race car in it or on it, you've probably thought a lot about trailer security. Everyone wants to steal things, especially things that are easy to steal. So keeping your trailer as difficult to steal as possible is the end goal. Now, there's a lot of different trailer locks on the market, and you can buy a whole bunch of them that are pretty good and a bunch of them that are also pretty bad, but the common issue with all of them is that you end up with this big pile of keys that you then have to deal with every time you lock or unlock your trailer or hook everything up to your truck. So Bolt Locks reached out to me and said, hey, we want you to take a look at something that we have. And the difference with Bolt Locks is that they use your truck key so that you only need one key to lock and unlock everything from the truck all the way back to the doors on your trailer. So they sent us all of these locks to try out and we're gonna see how they all work with my friend Taylor's enclosed trailer. And before we get too far into this, please take a second, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're gonna try and do more of these product reviews on top of the new and old car reviews and other motorsport sort of fun that we're having. So thank you so much for all the support. Now let's talk about these locks. So like I said, these are bolt locks. They sell all sorts of different locks under this name, but the whole common concept is that they use your vehicle's key as the master key for everything. So in this case, we've got a two inch padlock here. We've got a receiver lock that would go in with your hitch receiver as the pin to lock all that to the vehicle. Then we've got here the coupler lock for your trailer itself. So this is some way that you can secure the trailer when it's not hooked up to the truck. And then we've also got a coupler pin lock. That is something that will go through the coupler itself to keep the trailer secured to the hitch ball when it's attached to your truck or when you've also got it locked off vehicle like this. They also sent over a six inch cable lock here that you can use for pretty much anything that you would want to run it through a couple wheels on the trailer, for example, whatever the case might be. Now, the interesting thing to note here with all of these is that they say in this case works with most Ford Mercury Lincoln products. And what you have to do when you buy these is tell them what make and model of vehicle you own. And that is because these have to all work with the specific vehicle key that you have. And they are different brand to brand. Now, when I was talking to Bolt, I did uncover a slight challenge with these locks. My daily driver is a 2013 Porsche Cayenne. And the problem with the Cayenne is that it uses a key fob. It's totally keyless entry. There is no key except for the emergency key for the door lock. Now, in some cases, the emergency key that slides out might work with these locks. In the case of the Cayenne, it uses the European style that's just kind of the rectangular key blade, and they said that those were not compatible from Porsche with these locks. We set this up with my friend Taylor, who you've seen in some other videos. Taylor drives a 2011 Ford F-150, and those still used a regular metal key with an integrated remote key fob. So, those work very well with these. That's easy for how you would use them. So let's set this all up with Taylor's 2011 F-150 in his enclosed trailer. And again, the whole point of this is that we can unlock and lock all of these locks using just Taylor's truck key. All right, so first up, we're going to do the hitch pin. So this is the hitch pin. This is the lock itself. And this is all pretty simple with all of these locks. It's the same premise. You just put the key in. This is the key right here that still has the metal key blade exposed. Put it in, turn it clockwise till it stops cycle the lock a few times and it is coated so pretty simple so all you need to do here is pop this cap off this is a cap that's nice for weather protection if you've got this on we're going to peel the sticker off so there's a little bit of a rubber molding that didn't get totally done there and then here we go, this is, this is it. Take the key, insert the key, turn it fully counterclockwise till it stops, take it out. So it rotated like 270 degrees and now it only goes 90, so nice and easy. So now you can insert your hitch pin Just like that, that's not coming off. So this is your hitch pin lock, and then you can stick this in and 
take it out. So we'll go ahead and put that in on the hitch down here, and then we'll set up the rest of these. So we're gonna pop that off, pop that out, slide this guy right in there. Um, we should... All right, so you'll notice I've got the, uh, the lock set right here holding the, um, the receiver on. And this lock is fairly long and it sticks out, you know, a good couple inches. And the lock is on the end. And I didn't even think about this because my personal lock that I use, uh, the lock sticks out on the front. And I think I saw this little keyhole and that's where my brain went. And uh, the lock is facing right here. You'll notice the uh, trailer connectors, the wiring go right here. And now I can't insert the key all the way. It goes like this and it's, it's the wrong angle. It's gonna get stuck. So now we have a little problem. I have to remove this wiring connector to uh, make sure I can get this in. And then this lock actually needs to go on the other side of the hitch. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and flip the pin over and install this on that side. And then we'll go ahead and put this wiring back in place. Next up is this coupler pin lock. So this just goes right through here. Same deal. Key in, turn it as far as you can. That codes it. Make sure it works. There you go. So then this goes right through here. You can get this as tight as you want it. And there you go. Nice and easy. All right, so finally, let's talk about locking this trailer coupler. A lot of people use a lock like this, which is pretty lousy. These are easy to pop off. There's plenty of videos on YouTube and elsewhere that show how you can stick a crowbar in here and just pry the whole thing right off. So Bolt is trying to do something a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. So they give you this gigantic plate and the way it works, according to these instructions, is that you uh, pick one of these two guys based on the coupler ball size here. So the bigger one is what I'm gonna use. Um, it says this one is for a two and five sixteenths ball size. This one's for a one and seven eighths. Not sure what you do if your trailer needs a two inch ball, but regardless, all these big trailers need a two and five sixteenths. So you take this with the plate like so, put this this way, and then you have a, and then you have a bolt that runs through all of it to secure this. So you're basically making a plate with a gigantic uh, faux ball on the end to uh, do something with. We will go ahead and tighten this here, get it all locked down. I think this is only tight if I slap it and say that's not going anywhere. Now that we've got this all assembled, this goes right in here. You slide the coupler down so that holds it on. And then you've got this gigantic, thick metal strap. This is still something that I'm sure you could cut through with enough determination, but the whole point of locking up your trailer and securing something like this is making yours the least attractive option in a field. So if you can make this take as long as possible to cut through and try to steal, someone is gonna avoid this trailer for the one a few spots over that is not secured at all or secured with something kind of crappy like this. So you've got two options when you go to put this thing on. You can either put it here over the ball itself, which seems like a good option, except in this case, the way this is all set up on this particular coupler, uh, the holes don't line up perfectly here. Now there is another set of slots back at the back. And I think if I do it here, this is gonna be a little more 
secure. So I'm gonna slide this through here and through here, just like that. And again, this just slides on like so. And that's that. So we've got the coupler lock here. We've also got the lock that goes in the coupler itself for when you've got the trailer hooked up to your tow vehicle. And we've got the hitch itself locked to the receiver, all using this one Ford key. We do also have that two inch lock that goes on the back of Taylor's trailer door that he can also unlock with the same key. Now I only wish you could code the locks in the side door, which are built into the door itself, to also use the same key. You will have to carry a separate key for those. But thank you so much for watching. We will be doing more videos about trailering. I know a lot of people have been asking for some basic towing tips, some basic you know, towing 101, 201. We will be doing some of that. And of course, you do want to secure your tow vehicle and your trailer when everything's hooked up or parked in a storage lot. So thank you to Bolt Locks for sending these over for us to test out. I do think these are a good option if your vehicle key is supported by the locks themselves. That is the only downside with these locks that I can see so far is that you just can't necessarily use them with a lot of the newer vehicle keys unless the spare key is also the right shape to pull out of your key fob and use with the locks themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please stay safe, be well. We'll see you again soon.